John Bramnick, thanks for joining us. Good to be here. You have distanced yourself from Donald Trump over the past three years. Where are you now on Trump? Well, first of all, I'm no different than I was three years ago. If Donald Trump does something good for New Jersey or good for the economy, I, I praise him. If he says something that's nasty to John McCain, which he did, or he calls Republicans scum, I call him out. As I said, I'm, I'm not in a cult. So I, I don't play distance or non-distance. If I see something I think I should talk about, I do. He apparently said at a breakfast in Washington, D.C. this morning, Sorry, haters. I'm not going anywhere. What's your reaction to that? Well, I think the Democrats made a mistake. I'm a trial lawyer. If you can't win the trial, why go to trial? So I think they overplayed their hand here. Everyone knew the outcome. So I think they played right into the hands of the president. So and, and one of the things that uh, Nancy Pelosi did, ripping up the speech, stupid move in my judgment. Because if you're mad, one thing I've learned as both as a politician and as, as a trial lawyer, don't show that you're sweating. Don't show that you're mad. Just deal with the issue. Was it a mistake for the president to dismiss her attempt at a handshake? You know, that's interesting. Normally, I would say you'd be civil. But when someone's trying to throw you out of office, maybe I wouldn't shake their hand. I mean, that, that's not a policy issue. That's I want you to leave office. I think you might be able to get away with ignoring somebody who's trying to throw you out of office. I, you don't have to call her a name, but I think you could, you could ignore shaking her hand when you're trying to impeach him out of office. We're about a week past the big rally in Wildwood. Were you surprised at the amount of enthusiasm, people camping out in, the, in January weather for a good place in line to see President Trump? Not at all. That's like one of the best shows in town. He's an entertainer. Uh, people love watching him, and that's one of the reasons he became president. He's very entertaining, and he's great in front of a crowd, so people want to see it. And there is, look, we know that 37 to 40 percent of New Jersey support President Trump. So with 9 million people in the state, it, why would it surprise anybody? A lot of people want to see him. Uh, people who were thinking about running for governor in 2021, like... Uh, Jack Cedarelli and Doug Steinhardt were at the rally. You were not at the rally. Are you running for governor in 2021? <laughs> well, certainly I've made that decision. Have uh, not made that decision? Oh, I have not. I'm seriously, seriously looking at it. And, it. and I'm talking to a lot of people, and I'm hoping there's a path to do it, but I haven't made a decision. What would determine, what, what's the path look like if there is such a path? That I can win that I can win both the primary and the general election. And I think that takes serious uh, consideration. And need, you need to talk to a lot of people. You need to travel around the state and talk to people and see whether or not you, you're a candidate that people will support. I've heard it said that you think that you have the right position on Trump among that field of potential candidates because you're the one who's willing to call him out, unlike the others who are essentially bowing down in front of him. No, I think I'm someone who can win a general election because I won a district that has more Democrats and Republicans. They actually had so-called two Trump Republicans running to my right on, on the ballot. They had Democrats on the left, and I won by more votes than I did two years before. I won in a very tough district. That's what New Jersey would be for Republicans. And that's actually what convinced me to seriously consider running for governor. Because hey, it's great to win a primary as a Republican, but if you don't win, uh, uh, you, you can't do anything. So is the New Jersey Republican Party the, the party of Trump now? You know, I don't think the New Jersey Republican Party should owe allegiance to any one individual, whether it be the former governor, a prior governor, uh, the president of the United States. You have to concentrate on issues that New Jersey people care about. That's the New Jersey Republican Party. There is not one view within the Republican Party, as you know. If uh, Trump wins another term, does that help the Republican, a, a Republican candidate like you, a uh, potential candidate like you, or make it more difficult, given your track record with Trump? I have no idea. What I think is people look at you and decide whether you're authentic. They decide whether, in your heart, you're there to help the people in New Jersey, Democrat, Republican, or Independent. And I think people are pretty good at 
kind of determining whether you're authentic. I think that's the key, and I think that's always been the key in politics. Even Donald Trump, whether you like him or hate him, he is authentic. So are you rooting for him in 2020? Uh, let me tell you, I haven't seen the Democratic field, but I can tell you right now, I don't see anybody in the Democratic field that I would support. Michael Bloomberg? I, I think he is probably, in terms of their candidates, probably somebody who would be a, more of a challenge to the uh, president, but I don't think Bloomberg is going to make it either. I think uh, the candidates that you see are the candidates who are going to be in, the, the ones who are in Iowa, I think one of those, pe one of those candidates will come out. John Bramnick, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you, Michael.